It's already two and a half years since the first 5G networks went live around the world. During that time, network capacity and coverage have soared, helping the world to stay connected and to keep working through tough times. The standardization partnership that develops the specifications for 5G, known as 3GPP, has been busy. New features have been added to 5G through a series of three major releases of the 5G specifications, known as releases 15, 16 and 17. This has enabled new market segments, such as industrial and logistics enterprises, to start to benefit from the ultra-reliable, low latency and high data rate capabilities of 5G. With so much already achieved, where next for 5G? In 3GPP, planning is well underway for 5G Advanced, a term which describes the second half of the 5G era, the evolution of the 5G standard in 3GPP release 18 and beyond. This will further develop 5G to its fullest capabilities over the coming half decade. The way we experience connectivity will be transformed as 5G networks start to support Mobile Extended Reality, or XR. Improvements in uplink capacity and handling of mobility will be combined with the inherent high data rate and low latency capabilities of 5G to create a fully immersive user experience while on the move. Reliable network coverage is an essential component for user satisfaction, and enhancements will be coming in that area too, especially in the uplink to deliver consistently high data rates, even deep indoors. Better uplink performance will also facilitate network edge processing to improve the user's experience. Connectivity is not just about high data rates, though. New consumer applications like XR and cloud gaming need very low latency and short setup times, as well as flawless reliability and they need power efficiency in order to operate on devices with compact form factors and small batteries, while being available anywhere and anytime. Applications ranging from XR to industrial monitoring tend to create frequent transactions of small data packets, and it's crucial for network capacity that such packets are processed and transmitted efficiently. 5G Advanced will bring reductions in signalling overheads and latency in order to increase the density of users that can benefit from these applications. Now, when we think of 5G, most of us probably think of smartphones. But as 5G evolves to 5G Advanced, we will see an increasing diversity in the connected devices. We will see 5G devices that are optimised for lower data rates, designed for low complexity and cost, such as industrial process monitors for quality control, and smart wearable electronics. 5G connected tags for asset tracking will need to be able to operate with extremely low energy consumption, possibly even relying on energy harvesting from their environment rather than conventional batteries. And 5G advanced networks will need to be compatible with such devices. Other devices may be airborne, such as being mounted on drones, for those, we expect dedicated optimizations to be introduced in 5G advanced networks to ensure that they can communicate reliably with base stations on the ground without creating interference to other users. And specific industries and services will also benefit from 5G advanced. One example is the railway network, where the European rail industry has already decided that 5G is the technology to replace and upgrade the now aging GSMR systems for railway signalling and communication. Enhancements in 5G Advanced will adapt 5G to the specific spectrum bandwidths allocated to railways, smart power grids and public safety services, among others. 5G Advanced also expands 5G beyond just data communication and control. We expect substantial improvements in positioning accuracy, for example. New techniques like carrier phase positioning, applied to the signals transmitted by the 5G base stations, would enable connected devices to be located with centimetre level accuracy, not only outdoors, but even indoors where satellite signals are unavailable. 5G advanced networks will also provide resilient timing services. 
facilitating services as diverse as industrial automation and real-time financial transactions. Last but not least, there are two fundamental ways in which the operation of 5G advanced networks will differ from the way networks have been designed before. First, network energy efficiency is of paramount importance, both for environmental sustainability and for minimization of operating costs. 5G Advanced will have energy efficiency at its heart in all its features. And secondly, 5G Advanced will progress towards exploiting the full power of machine learning and artificial intelligence, or AI. These powerful techniques will enable 5G Advanced networks to learn the characteristics of the radio propagation environment, as well as patterns of traffic and user activity, so that the networks can self-optimize without expensive manual intervention. So, when will we see the first 5G Advanced networks? 3GPP is in the process of deciding on the first set of enhancements that will begin the journey of taking 5G forward to 5G Advanced, and that will lead to the first complete Release 18 specifications at the beginning of 2024. Then, during the second half of the decade, we will see additional technologies around 5G becoming mainstream as part of the 5G Advanced era, including, for example, the disaggregation of the radio access network and increasing programmability with Open RAN. So 5G Advance should be powering us through the second half of the present decade, starting in 2025.